Alright guys, how's it going? This is a plug-in review of Mira Tools. Could be Myra Tools, I do apologise to the developer for the mispronunciation of the name. The dev's called Myth Tools. It's a good chance you've already seen this out in the market. Excellent tools. And they bring a little bit of functionality that I miss in Blender. And I'll explain a little bit later on, but we'll take a quick overview. Mira Tools is a modern modeling and retopology tools. That's pretty much the basics of it. It's got some really nice stuff, draw extrude, poly loop, deform mesh, curve surface, curve stretch, curve guide, retopology tools are pretty damn good as well. So, download the zip file. Now the great thing about this is, it actually has a build for Houdini as well, so I'll need to try that out at a later point. But you're interested in the Blender add-ons, either for 2.8 or 2.7. Now you can either drag them into the add-ons folder, or you can zip them up and install them via the preferences that way. Your choice, but I'm not here to show you how to install plugins. I'm here to actually look at the plugins, so let's get started. So we'll quickly jump into Blender and let's add an object in Mesh. Now you see we've actually got some primitives and these are pretty good. So let's say we select a cube. Now you're probably thinking there's nothing here, what do I do? So if you left click It'll draw, click again, it'll extrude. Now this reminds me of modal. It has that modal lightweight feel and that's what I'm missing. So I quite like this, this is actually quite, it's quite nice to just be able to extrude boxes out. So that's the primitive tools. Now you need to right click to drop the selection. But what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll add a mesh and we'll just drop in Suzanne. Good old Suzanne. And I'll jump into edit mode. Now if you've installed the plugins correctly, it'll be in the properties and you'll see it here, Mira. We have a few things in the modify tab, simple extrude, draw extrude. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly select a face here and I'll click draw extrude. Now you'll see this kind of blue dot. So this kind of reminds me of the magic bevel tool. And it can be pretty handy. So like it says, right click to drop the selection. We'll do another draw extrude. <laughs> so that's the modify tool, but these are the tools that I've been missing. And it's C guide, curve guide. So for example, if we hit curve guide, you'll see that it actually gives us this kind of line. Now what we can do is, we can drag this into the middle. Now, there isn't many options for setting the axis, and I think it's because it works in the 3D space. Uh, it would be nice if there was a few options to select the Z and the Y, etc. So once we've done this, we can hit enter. And you can see that we have five points, and we can see that we're on stretch. So what we can do is we can actually do this. Now this is a tool that I miss because I actually use Lightwave for a lot of modeling. And this is one thing people need to understand, it's not about software, it's about what gets the job done. So I'm really happy that some of this functionality has been brought in, a kind of modal Lightwave modeling tools. So that's Curve Guide. And you can also change the deform type to scale, stretch, shear. So I'll just do another one. We'll just leave it on that. Hit enter. There's a f and we can do stuff like this. Now the next tool we'll take a quick look at is the deform tool. So we'll go to the linear deformer. And we'll draw this kind of bone. So what can we do? Well, let's have a quick look at the documentation. So if we hit B, we can bend, shift B will do a spiral, G will move, R will rotate, T will taper, S will scale, etc, etc. So let's hit B for bend. Now that's pretty damn good. Keep in mind, you can create shape layers and actually start animating using stuff like this. So another one was T for twist, so we can twist the topology in or out. Yeah, let's do shift and B. So hopefully by now you're starting to see the potential in these tools. You've got a few other things, curve stretch, retopology tools. These really need a video on their own, but they essentially let you retopologize, which is pretty damn good. You've got an art tool. So that's a quick basic look at Mira tools. I do hope I'm saying that right, and I do apologize again if I don't. 
But I highly recommend you jump onto the guy's GitHub. There's also a thread in Blender Artist, and it gives you a little bit more in-depth to what these tools can do. But, as a tool for Blender, being free, highly recommend, and I also suggest drop a couple of bucks to the developers where it helps buy a coffee or whatever. Thanks for watching, you know what to do, hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.